Okay, so yes, I've been shopping. Those are two more persimmon trees. And yes, I'm dumpster diving. I'm dumpster diving. I can't resist. That is, that will turn into black gold in my yard. Plus, I've got all this. I picked up some old fencing, and I'm creating um, garden beds in the fencing. I'll show you guys later. It's January. I'm getting it done, folks. I'm getting it done. Well, I didn't mean to make a video, but since I'm making one, that's red clover. That is salad brunette. That is red vein sorrel. Look how gorgeous that is. That's just beautiful. And this is hen bit. Somebody was asking about that on a plant social media group. This is chickweed, I think. Are you chickweed? I think you are. With a little red. Let me, you know, I'm not completely. You've got a little white flower. Let's get a good look at the flower. There's the flower. Well, the flower, and then there's the stems and the leaves, and then there's all this. Look how gorgeous everything looks. Look at that. Wow. Can y'all hear that? I'm in the laundry room, but it's raining. It's like music to my ears. And then Zsa, Zsa she's still outside, digging it herself. Check it out. Where's my Jaja girl? Where's the Jaja girl? Jaja? Maybe she did come in. Well, she was out here digging the rain. Okay, I guess she was outside. She's out the window now. Let's let her in. Hey, little girl. Bet I know where she was. Oh, with one hand. Sorry. She was probably up under the um cars watching it rain. Hey, what is that? Hey, sugar dog. I'm letting you in. Come in? Or you, no, you want me to come out? Come on. Come on, I know. You keep looking outside. It's, I know, it's raining. We like that, don't we? Hey, sugar dumpling. It is the end of February. Hey, girl, and I want to make a quick video so I can record what's available for me to eat. Um, This right here, I want to just record this. I put, I'm saving my celery, and I just stuck it in here that has a little bit of water at the bottom, getting ready to, um... Do some seedlings. And look, they have taken off even more so than I've got growing in my house. Let me show you. Let me put it on hold. See, here is the ones. I, well, they're kind of... No. These have been in here for a while. See, these I put in a little pot and they're getting sun. And they're plenty... Well, yeah, they're plenty moist. Because I've got that little... um, The little... Oh, wow, man. Plenty moist. But they've got the little um, string in it that keeps the water up in there because I know celery likes that. And then look, I'm sprouting. These are baby sprouts. They're, I'm just getting started. But I've got my whole little system down um, to sprout. So I do that in the wintertime since I'm lower on greens. But hey, that's the African basil, which is delish. I can come through and just add little 
pieces into my salad. So let me go outside. It's the end of February. I want it recorded. I'm not talking to you, girl. Um, and I just want it recorded what I have in the yard that's edible that I can add to my salad. So let me see if I can keep all this in one video. I want a little, oops, I want a little quickie here. Oh, I hear Jaja tearing up. Here's a little quickie of um, some little um, plants I got going. Jaja, what are you tearing up? <laughs> hey, wild animal. You wild thing. Come on, let's go out. Let's go check the outdoor food. Come on, Come on. girl. And here's just another day in paradise. I've got some some um, potential urban homesteaders coming by to pick up cuttings because we're all, it's starting to take off around here because some of us are doing what I'm doing. Okay, I think I've already done a video on this, but look at this, y'all. This is the red bean sorrel. Oh my gosh, isn't that like a gorgeous plant and it looks so pretty in a salad? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is chickweed, like almost 99.9%. This is, oh, oh, I thought that was henbit, but that's not henbit. This one's henbit. The flowers are different. See how that is different? That's henbit. That's edible. This right here is purple nettles. I made a smoothie with that last year. It tasted a little grassy. Just add peanut butter or um, tahini and it takes the taste away and makes it like a perfect free green smoothie. And I hear these things are like loaded down with um, nutrition and I certainly haven't sprayed any chemicals in my yard for years and years and years. So look at that. I mean, just y'all, I'm letting, let's see, last year because I was sick, I decided I needed to have a different relationship with my weeds. This kind of looks pretty out here. In my opinion, so a lot of that is weeds. Let's go see what else I have that I can eat in my salad. I didn't even need to put that on hold, but that's onion chives. I don't know that they ever died back this year. This one is, um, what is that? Lavender. Some more of my onion chives. This is, look, ooh, the shadows. Um, this is, um, Oregano. Woo, I'm making all kinds of shadows. Oh. <laughs> okay, I was on the wrong side and I had to turn it off. Anyway, this is oregano. That is marijuana. And because I watch every YouTube garden show on the planet, um, one of the um, gar YouTube gardeners, you know, um, borage is edible. And this is reseeding. I did not plant this. So he uses his in um, to juice because they've got like a furry, they have a furry leaf and people don't really like to eat them in their salads, but for juicing and, and probably smoothies. So, so how cool. Oh, my rosemary. I think that's the Salem. Is it Salem rosemary? Not sure. But that's pretty much my, oh, my Egyptian onions are over there, but we'll look at that later. Let's go. Y'all can tell I'm excited. It's been raining for days. Um, I want to see how much stinging nettle. Oh, y'all, this, oh, I love it. There's just water just all over the place. That's good news, y'all. We've had some, like, oh, oh. Y'all, I just, oh, no. Oh, there it is. I had some um, mulch dumped, so I thought I had covered up my nettles. Y'all, I have no idea how much these are going to spread. There's the nettles. There is the nettle. So it's the end of February, and they're here. Amazing. Y'all, everything is swamped. The sun has come out, and I'm hot. I'm out here. Now. Oh, the air conditioner. Let me finish this up real quick. This is a, ah, the sun. This is a Yapon Holly. I just learned that you can make tea with it, and then I researched further and um, read that somebody got the best kombucha they've ever had, 100% from um, Yapon Holly. So I don't have to participate in the exploitative tea industry. Isn't it interesting what we're all learning 
about what's going on in the world. And here is the leftovers of my little Asian salad mix. And look, I don't even know what kind of little figs I've put in there, but they seem to be growing. I've got some mustard. That's that Japanese mustard. And, oh y'all, I can hear little birds. It's starting to feel like springtime around here. Now I'm not, oh, I was gonna say I'm not gonna touch that. But look y'all, well, I can't be sure. No, that might not be what I thought it was. I could have put some bulbs in here. Darn, I thought that might have been. Well, I am gonna pick up under here. I put a whole bunch of um, persimmon seeds. So now I'm confused, but time will tell. It don't look like, that does not look like that would be a persimmon seed, does it? Anyway, I'll find out. The salad burnet. Look at all that chickweed. Oh my goodness. Look at all that chickweed. I wonder if that has that little red vein. What is, now I know this is chickweed. You know, that doesn't have the red vein. Uh-oh. Does that mean that what's in the front could be purslane? Have I finally figured out where purslane is around here? I need to um, do a little plant identification thing. And this little turkey. Are you that sticky plant that's edible too and good for something? See? Different relationships with your weeds. The more you look at the YouTube channels, the more you realize Mother Nature is abundant. And let's see. I think this is enough for walking around today. I think I've covered about everything. Let's go look at my sorrel, though. Um, things are starting to pop out, y'all. Look. Look. All the irises, the daylilies. I know I need to, um, I need to come out and do pruning today. I really need to. You need to be finished up pruning. Yep. It has been raining and raining and raining and raining and raining. Let's see. Let's, um... Let's see what's going on in here. Get a little. There's my sorrels. And apparently there's like a potato and sorrel soup that is really good you can make. Look, I have not been watering these plants. This is my um, arugula. I just stuck them out here because I'm creating a new bed. Just with old leaves and stuff. So look, some things are surviving. I think that's a candy onion that I put in there. Let's see. I hope this is garlic chives. It should be. That's my, um, what is that? Uh, lemon balm. That's great for tea. Oh, y'all! Like in a week, everything is popping out. Now, it's hot. I can tell it's hot right now. What a wonderful little, oh, it's gonna, I hope it's gonna be a good gardening year. Although, I'm a little afraid that it's been so hot. I'm a little scared what might come down later. Alright, well, I think I'm done with the tour. Most of my greens... Wait a minute. I'm gonna go check my parsley. Hey, sweetie, I'm so excited. I can't... I'm just... I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Okay, so I've got some sort of onions that I bought that are in there, and I don't remember what those are. They're not the candies, but they are growing. I could probably come out and start pulling those. So I've probably, let's see, and then that is my Olympian. That probably isn't thrilled where I put it, but we'll work on that. And then over here, look, I still have parsley hey babe hey babe oh my goodness everything is flooded oh my gosh oh y'all everything is flooded oh oh i need to work on that look at that that is a red vein sorrel and another one see 
that red vein sorrel had babies and look at all these weeds so they don't bother me like they used to because I know I can put them in a smoothie oh, and a salad that is um I think this is um arugula um I love arugula and look that's um parsley it survived it survived the freezing like eight degrees weather that we had unbelievable but now I know oh that is so good I love arugula I don't know why I haven't been able to get my house with like a an arugula bed that just keeps reseeding I haven't mastered my touch everybody else does Oh, my asparagus. Let me go see what that's doing. Y'all, I've been cooped up in the house. Y'all, y'all knocked over my bucket with water to drink fresh water that I had big cuttings in. Made a mess in my kitchen. So I've been trapped with her. I'm glad to be outside. <gasps> there it is. Let me get down here. Okay. Now, I hope I didn't kill anything, but I didn't mulch you, did I? Please be alive. Oh, here comes something. Here comes something. Yay! It is the end of February. There it is. Look away, man. I'm going to eat it. Uh, um, well, this was kind of skinny to eat. Oh, I am. Stop it. My first two, my first two harvests of the day. This is that Procorsi Argentine, Argentine. Hey, babe. Well, I'm even as tickled as I can be. Mm-mm-mm. Whew. I'm going to go put on some clothes. Get out of this hot house coat. Mm-mm. This asparagus is so good. All right, folks. Adios. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh well, I was going to get it's that time of year. Y'all can probably tell. Can you hear the birds? Zsa, Zsa does. Oh, let me get one last little video. These are going to seed. I think that's my bok choy or something like that. But... Um, oh, these are those new daffodils I got. Look at that gorgeousness. Look at that new daffodil. Look at that. I can't remember the name of it. That is like, oh, that is a mess. That's going to be photographed. That's going to be photographed a lot. You are gorgeous. And then I got me a little mix. Let's see. Hey, Jaja. Got me a little mix out here. Um, ooh, it's so wet. I was thinking about digging up my fig tree and planting it up on a, on a little... Here we go. There you go. Let's get you videoed real quick. And then, maybe is this a different kind? I got a mix. Maybe that's a different kind I don't know but that one over here I need to just go look at this again that is so gorgeous I hope that's what I've got close at the front but maybe not this is probably not in a happy spot are you poor little thing I put you in a bad spot but you're gorgeous look at that beautiful beautiful